Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, welcome to the Plastic Tree Photography Exhibition. I would like to introduce Professor Eduardo Liao, and he's going to give us a he's going to give us a short introduction about uh, his work. Thank you. Hello. Uh, do I need a mic or? Okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm not a professor, I'm a photographer, most of, of everything. Well, first, uh, no, no, because of the light. It's, it blinds me and I don't see people. Uh, well, first of all, thank you so much for everyone to challenge the weather today and uh, to come here. Uh, I'm quite happy. It's my first exhibition in Macau. And especially, it's something that is really close to my heart that is about the, um, the impact of plastic has um, in the environment. Uh, I will say just quickly, this is, was idea, I travel a, a lot around the world and I saw plastic always everywhere, you know, it doesn't matter where you go, but all these amazing landscapes, beautiful cities and it was always plastic, plastic, plastic. And uh, with this in mind for many years, I wanted to do something, but how to photograph plastic. Plastic is not easy to photograph, to make appealing to how you call the attention for people. And uh, I'm a photojournalist, but uh, here is my activist part. I want really people to look at it and think about it. Uh, because, you know, the behavior that we have, the consumism that we have, it cannot continue like that. What will be the planet for future generations? And uh, that's the reason why I did this project. You know, they are beautiful. The, I think they are beautiful image and they have a reason to be. Because as a photojournalist, I photograph a lot of... Uh, the destruction, uh, bad uh, places, people suffering and everything. And I know that that doesn't change anything. People will look to an image and, uh, oh, oh, poor people, but probably they will turn and they will see a watch advertised and they're going to eat breakfast and they don't, that's go. And we are sanitized. There's so many images in the world right now. People don't look to them anymore. And I thought maybe if I do a beautiful image, people will look and, oh, you know, I could have this in my living room. So people were like, oh, this is so beautiful. But then I want them to read and to think about it because I'm actually talking a lot about facts where we can find the, the plastic and everything. So this is why I did this project. It's to, so most of everything, I ask people to share it. And it's not for me or be well known by people or anything. No, it's the work that has to talk. It's, this has to enter in the minds of people. And you know, I know I'm not going to change the world with this, but if I can put a little seed in one or two people, I'm already changing something. And that's the goal of this work. Well, thank you so much again for coming, and well, have fun. Uh, before we start the tour, we would like to have a group photo. Uh, please welcome Dr. Rui Cunha. And Dr. Pedro Cunha. Mr. Abadu Chao. And, of course, Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Yao is going to will lead a small tour around his work. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, okay. Uh, I don't think we need to do a tour because I can talk a bit more if you want, if you're not bored. Uh, but mostly, the, well, people always think, ask me about the work is like, did you stage this? Did you have the idea and you produced this? And it's not. I'm a photojournalist, a documentary photography. I cannot change things. I, it's not the way my ethics are not there. It's not, I cannot change things, I cannot compose. I don't like to do usually fashion shoots or whatever because I have to control things. I want things to be that they're natural and I have to look, observe and translate that to image. And uh, for me, uh, this work, as I said, it was many, many years that I, I want to produce a work about plastic, but how to make plastic, you know, appealing, how can people look to it and, you know, appreciate it, but maybe call the attention. And, well, the story is around this is that I actually was in uh, Bolivia. Uh, I, I work until recently. I lived in South America for many years. I cover many things there. And I was in the south of Bolivia waiting for a permit to enter in a lithium factory, a, a lithium plant. 
And it's not easy because the government there is quite restrictive and everything. And I was stuck in a little town with um, four blocks. Or it's, it's, it's not a town, it's a tiny village with nothing to do, uh, waiting for a permit. For two weeks, there's one bar, you know, one restaurant. There's nothing there, basically. And there's a massive desert next to it. So I was bored and I knew there was a train cemetery, uh, like three kilometers away. Uh, like in the middle of the desert, just, uh, you know, uh, trains from like the beginning of the 20th century, they were abandoned there. Like, oh, you know, I go, well, I'm here. I don't have nothing to do. Well, one of my days, I'm going to walk there. And, and while I was walking there, I saw there's a video here passing where this was actually photographed. And, and you actually can see the train tracks passing next to it. And basically, when I arrived and I saw all that, I was like, wow, this is really, really, you know, uh, and this you only see a bit, but it, this is goes on and on, all this plastic. And basically I was like, okay, this is, has something. And I started playing with image and uh, suddenly I, I was happy. I went to the hotel, I went through the forest and I saw one of the images I took. I'm like, okay, this is something I need to explore. And then for the next two weeks I started going and going and okay, I know the light I want, sunset. There's always wind, so it's perfect because it gives this... Uh, like the, the, the plastic bags flying. And so I started just going and going and producing and looking for the, how I can improve the image. And well, uh, these are small bushes and you can see uh, some of them the size of my hand. And to get to this perspective, uh, I dig a hole and I put a camera in the hole and I photograph from bottom to up. And all because plastic is such a huge problem that we are facing. Uh, that's, I couldn't call small bush or bush, uh, plastic bushes or something. No, I want people to think that this is a big problem. So I have to give a name. So it's why I call it trees. And I was looking to give the perspective that these look something bigger than just a tiny bush that is the size of mine. And that's well. For two weeks I photographed that and then it was born the series that you can see here. And, you know, then you can appreciate because the image are... They work as a, a whole. It's not that I can describe each image because basically it's a bush with a plastic around it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah? Uh, if you have any questions, I'm happy to. Uh, Is there a picture you use the world? Yes. Not the picture, one picture by itself, but the series one, uh, series. Uh, some, the whole series, actually of the, the 10 that they are here, which it's, it's I didn't photograph 10 uh, plastic uh, trees, I photograph hundreds, but uh, you know, you have to make a cure, a cure and, uh, series. And um, these 10 actually, they won, um, well, the most important was the Sony Photo Awards, that is from the World Photo Organization. Uh, and then there were several awards, uh, luckily, which it was good because, again, he helped this project to travel and people to see more and more. And, I'm happy they came to Macau, and especially now, because people, uh, well, they, I heard that they are now discussing the plastic bags here, and they want people to pay for it and everything, so slowly it's getting in the minds of people, so I'm really happy, and you know, I hope uh, it I put a seed in at, at least a few of you as well. Um, you know. so thank you again. <laughs>